there aren't a lot of people my age who like have the confidence to do it. And I feel like there's like this sort of responsibility that's placed on me to be that voice for people. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying my best not to sound like I'm bragging. <laughs> My name is Drew Wilson. Um, I'm a 16-year-old trans advocate, and I live down in Delta, in Lower Mainlands. Hi, Roxy. When I was going to the Catholic school, um, it was before my transition. I was going through probably the worst time in my life. I was at my lowest point, and I, I just felt horrible. I would sit at the back of the field at school every day and um, I would actually cry to myself because I would imagine myself walking through those doors as like with long flowing hair and like wearing um, the girl's uniform being called the name that I preferred. And thinking back on those times, I didn't want any of a child to have to go through that. And so it only makes, made sense to try and make change. Well, in the Catholic school, I realized that I did want to transition. And so my mom and my dad and I, we went to the principal and we talked to him about it. He ended up handing us a letter from their lawyer saying that they couldn't support a trans child in their transition. We tried to make it work with the school and we got them like um, recommendations from doctors and psychiatrists saying that it was the right choice to allow me to transition, but they wouldn't budge. And so we eventually had to leave the school. And um, a couple months later, my mom asked me if I even wanted to go back to school, to the school, and like fight them and like try to make change. And I, I said yes. We got the first gender inclusive policy made in a Catholic school district, um, in we think like all of Canada. True, come to the school. I wanted to share my story today about how I came to be the girl that I am today. That was the start of my advocacy and just telling my story. And I've been going to schools and like talking on the news and everything and like trying to make change and share my story and hoping to be a voice for those who don't feel that they have one. Everything that I get from it, like the recognition and like the payment and like I'm getting to speak to all these important people, like that's awesome. But being able to show people that there is hope and that there is a happy ending for us is, is just all that I really want to do. I want to be that hope and I want to be that light for people to maybe help a future generation.